Today we start off with a Bible dip, just opening the Bible to a random place. Did not pick this out beforehand. And we're just going to go like this, just to show you there's no tricks, effects. Relent, O oh Lord, how long? Have pity on your servants. Fill us at daybreak with your mercy. I hope I don't get copywritten for this. But Jesus is long gone, so I think we're okay. That all our days we may sing for joy. Make us glad as many days as you humbled us, for as many years as we have seen trouble. Show your deeds to your servants, your glory to their children. May the favor of the Lord our God be ours. Prosper the work of our hands. Prosper the work of our hands. My God, I used both my hands. I did that today. I turned on that button. I put this AirPod in, and guess what? I made sure it was working. Yep, we got sound, baby. And this is the first video today. I'm not going to go through three like I did yesterday. And you know what I was looking up earlier? I might not even tell you. Doesn't matter. It's not important. Anyway, welcome. Uh, that was the New American Bible. Maybe we'll bring some of that later. I don't know. I'm no longer Catholic. But I uh, I think it's cool to have like a personal relationship, spiritual little connection with your God, you know? You don't have to do this whole human-oriented, created, uh, organized religion thing, you know? The whole the whole thing is you're, you're supposed to have that spirit connection anyway with your, uh, your creator, so... Anyway, this is my opinion. Whatever. So I thought today we would do something a little different. I've had a lot of people ask me about my regime. My regime? I have a regime. I'm a king. No, my regiment. Um, my regiment for vitamin taking. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through that today pretty pretty briskly. Oh, real quick, the Bible dip. Got to give credit where credit is due. The Bible dipping thing came from, I think, Chuck Palahniuk? Maybe one of his books he mentioned just taking a Bible dip from time to time. can't remember which book. It was either him or um, Augustine Burroughs or that uh, that really gay author that is cool and did a lot of meth, um, David Sedaris. Anyway, moving on. So let's go ahead in no particular order, although I will tell you which ones I take in the morning and which ones I take as part of my afternoon routine um, and then which ones I take for evening. Let's go ahead and, and tackle these uh, these vitamins and minerals here. Ooh, starting off with a fun one, Phosphatidyl serine. This one is uh, and also has Bacopa monieri, I think. It's uh, great for creating some neurotransmitters, dopamine related. And uh, it's also good for protecting your brain um, against oxidized stress from exercising. So I take two of these uh, a day, um, and I think there's uh, 300 milligrams of the Phosphatidyl. So there's that. This is going to be a lot of fun to pick up later, by the way. Probably not. Uh, we got some vitamin K, got K1 and K2. Everyone forgets about K1 or K2. Everyone remembers K1 if they take it at all. K2 is really great for your bones and for your teeth. Um, and I, I guess a little bit they say for uh, your heart, but mainly for the bones and the teeth. All right. Oh, and uh, I take both those in the afternoon. Calcium, magnesium, and zinc. Yeah, baby. So... Zinc's really good, especially if you're a man and you have some of that baby batter. Um, it's good for that. Uh, if you have to ask what baby batter is, I uh, don't want to get demonetized. So that's not a thing we're going to be talking about here. Calcium and magnesium. Calcium should be self-explanatory. Magnesium, great for uh, kind of relaxing yourself, getting to sleep. So that's wonderful. Uh, let's go ahead and look at this. Omega-3 fish oil, great for your heart, great for your brain, and uh, ADHD. So concentrations, very cool. Ow, my foot. Uh, going to, let's see, this is fun. So this is a lysine complex. Uh, this is taken for if you have any sort of skin disorders. Um, and it's also really good uh, just for your immune system. This particular one has deodorized garlic bulb uh, and bee propolis in it. I don't know what that is, but it might just be the property of the bees. Um, oh yeah, so I take the, uh, that in the, in the morning um, and I take this in the afternoon. And I take uh, the calcium magnesium in that. Turmeric, curcumin. They say this has anti uh, tumor prop properties, uh, so really good um, if you have um, sort of cancer in your family. Um, at least that's what I've been told it's kind of good for. That, and it's also good for your joints, apparently. I don't know. Let's smoke a joint. Uh, over here is probiotic. Take this in the morning. Um, this is really good in conjunction, we got a twofer, with uh, psyllium. So... These are great. This helps keep things moving, kind of makes it so your uh, your poo is in one piece. 
if you know what I mean. Um, so these are really great. Uh, this is also especially good if you if you have any uh, issues with opiates in your life. Hey, no judgment here. Just saying, I've heard it's kind of hard to poop. Uh, so these things help. There you go. No prior experience at all would I have anything to do with why I know that. Uh, oh, here we go. The Alex Jones supplement. Uh, iodine, Lugal Solution 2%. Take this in the morning as well with those other things, the probiotic and the psyllium. This, they say you're not supposed to ingest it orally. I think that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a bunch of crack. You know, that's just, um, you, you, you can put this. I mean, this isn't medical advice. I'm not a doctor, um, but I, I put it in my water in the morning, just a couple drops and I just chug it back. Some people put it on their wrists, rub it together. And no, uh, up to you, whatever. Um, let's see here. Oh, Ferrisol, iron. Take this in the afternoon as well. Uh, it's pretty cool. You don't really need it. It's just the uh, 325 mg's. It's good if you're a uh, female, though. They tell you to take more of it. Seeing as I'm half female, well, I take some of it. So, uh, let's see here. This is oh, this is the keep the gay babies away. This is the anti-HIV medicine. They call it prep. It's like a prophylactic for your inside of your body against. HIV, but seeing as I haven't had sex in three years, I don't know why I take that. Uh, let's see, what else we got? Oh, I take that in the morning. Uh, did I miss any? Oh yeah, now I die in the morning. We got Collagen Plus, really great for hair, nails, and uh, what else is this? Oh yeah, skincare. So this is pretty neat. Uh, you know, just kind of keeps things uh, plumpy and poopy. Uh, I have noticed that my hair grows a lot, and uh, I've been getting some coldness on my skin. So. Pretty cool. Good to start taking this in your early 30s. Let's take two of those in the afternoon with some food. Uh, one daily multivitamin. <laughs> I'm not even going to explain how that works and what that's for. Uh, let's see. Vitamin B. Get that energy. This is why I seem like I'm on crack. Take that in the, in the afternoon. Let's see here. Uh, Alpha GPC. Pretty great. Now, this one is a fun one. This uh, helps you uh, get that more of your neurotransmitter acetylcholine, which can be found in eggs and some fish, but a lot of people don't get it. They don't get enough of it, okay, especially in our modern diet. And acetylcholine is a pretty important neurotransmitter for memory and attention. Pretty dope. Take it in the afternoon. Oh, yeah. Did I just, uh, did I already mention that I already took my afternoon vitamins? So I feel just ready to explode like the challenger. Okay, that was a little too intense. I'm sorry to everybody. Uh, I don't think I'm violent nor aggressive. All right, let's see here. Almost done here. Thank you for sticking around. We got some selenium. Oh, yeah. Take this in uh, combination with my iodine in the morning. It's pretty cool. Helps for the iodine absorption. Um, selenium, very important, very hard to find. It's a trace mineral. It's super, super fundamental. And you're not really finding it in many soil uh, nowadays because you've kind of just like sucked it all out. So that's important. My nose. Uh, let's see, we got some uh, vitamin D3. Really great, especially in the time of the coof. Um, they say that uh, vitamin D3 helps uh, to minimize any symptoms you may have. If you do get it, it of course, you don't have any comorbidities uh, associated with the coof and you're under a certain age. But very good just to take vitamin D anyway. It's really great for the immunity response in your body. So pretty cool. Uh, I take about 5,000 I use of that. Um, Take it for the afternoon. See what else? Oh yeah, the selenium. That's in the morning with the iodine. If I didn't already say that, lutein, really great for eyes. Good eye health. Um, I used to wear some glasses. Um, I don't anymore. So am I making things up? Probably. Uh, let's see. Let's go to lycopene. Look at that. Great for your prostate. If you're a woman, you probably don't need to take that. If you're in transition, you probably might need to take that. Um, and then finally, uh, I don't have the box, but this is Sam E. Sam E. Not like Sammy Davis Jr., just Sam E. I don't know what it stands for. Maybe I can look it up. No, it's not on there. Yes, it is. S. Adenosol methionine. Um, anyway, this is really good for uh, uh, uplifting your mood and also good for your joints. Um, uh, not doesn't help you with rolling them, but helps you with not rolling your ankles, I guess, uh, in your knees. And I'm in a pretty happy mood, I think. Some people call it mania. Uh, they may be right. Those people may be right, but I think it's just, it's healthy. I'm good. And yeah, I take one of these in the morning. Um, you want to do this on an empty stomach. Pretty cool. Um, oh, and what I don't have here is 5-HTP. 5-HTP is phenomenal in combination with this, but you kind of want to roll that one in and out. You only want to take it for like a month at a time. Sammy though, man, it's good. 
I don't take any pharmaceuticals. And at one, one point, I think they wanted to prescribe me to some, you know, uh, manic depression medication or whatever. But uh, not anymore. I just go all natural, baby. Um, so, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. And for everyone out there who wanted to know what I, what I take, there you go. I don't think I missed anything. And also, we haven't really touched on the uh, neurotropics too much. So maybe that could be another video. Hope this was entertaining for you. It was very nerve-wracking for me. I don't know why. Anyway, peace out. Namaste. Let's go.